When I was at the library bar, we were right next to this club called Teddy's. And so they, people would just flood our bar and I was new and really trying to get people into what I was doing. So I decided I'm gonna take this Long Island iced tea um, and I'm gonna put my spin on it. I'm gonna still make it strong, but I'm gonna use incredible spirits. I'm gonna use fresh juices and all that. Typically a Long Island iced tea was all kind of clear liquors like you know, vodka, gin, rum, tequila, and then it was with Coke and like sour mix, right? So I'm gonna replace those things. I'm gonna actually you know, do lemon juice and agave syrup and so forth. So I wanna build this in a glass and then I wanna pour it into this a massive Long Island ice. This is my version of a Long Island ice tea glass, okay? All right, so we're gonna build this in and typically all the spirits, it is a strong drink. We're gonna do one ounce of everything in that, okay? So instead of using rum, I'm gonna use cachaça. Cachaça is a Brazilian rum. This is an organic one from Brazil. Uh, the owners live in Seattle, but this is just, it smells like bananas. It's such a great, great spirit. So we're gonna put one ounce of that in there. And then instead of using tequila, we're gonna use mezcal. Mezcal is a tequila, but it is smoked because they roast the agave before they ferment it. So that's what gives it that smoky flavor. We're gonna, and this is what's great is because this might be too strong for people on, the, on, on its own, because we're putting all these other things, it's gonna come through nicely and not be overpowering. So let's put one ounce of that in as well. I love that. Um, we are going to, so typically also they had triple sec. So instead of putting triple sec, which is like um, Cointreau or triple sec, it was, it was like a liqueur that was high proof with orange flavor. I took orange peels and calamansi and I infused it into gin to get the orange notes in it. So we're gonna put one ounce of that in there as well. I love the color. Calamansi is a Filipino lime. So it's uh, super sour and orangey. It's almost like a kumquat, but round. And then we're gonna use aquavit, okay? Aquavit is a spirit that originated from Norway and Sweden area. This one is made in Portland, Oregon. It's infused with starry nice, but it also, the main flavor of aquavit is caraway seeds, which is what's in that in pumpernickel bread. So we're gonna do one ounce of that. So already you've got all these different flavors, but what's great is all these spirits are made really well. Okay, we're gonna put two ounces of blood orange juice instead of doing Coke. And what I do is, this is a drink that kind of follow the seasons. And what I mean by that is, is every season I use a different juice. So if it was a fall, it was pomegranate juice. Then I did orange juice. Then I did blood orange juice. Then I did cherry juice. Then I did watermelon juice. So one of the things I love is this guy, he was a regular, used to come in. And I'd, he'd come back like every two months or so. And he used to walk in the door and he goes, what's your seasonal Long Island iced tea right now? And I was just like, every time he said that, I was just like, I was so proud that I got this guy turned. It was awesome. Okay. And we are going to do one ounce of agave syrup. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio of agave nectar to water. And then one ounce of fresh lemon juice, okay? Now we're gonna fill this thing here. And this just takes regular ice, okay? So I'm using regular ice here, nothing special, but we want it to still be if you can, as big as possible, right? So it doesn't melt. But this is a strong drink, but there's something about this, this version of a Long Island. You can't really call this a Long Island iced tea. I'm calling it a Long Island iced tea because it's the structure of what a Long Island iced tea is, right? It's four spirits, it's strong, it's somewhat of a sour mix, and then you've got, instead of the Coca-Cola, I'm using fresh juice. So we're gonna do this a nice shake right now. We've got that all set up. Give this a shake. Make sure I've got my strainer here. All right, here we go. Pour that in there. Woo, it's <laughs> drink. Damn, I can smell it. I mean, it really smells like this strong tropical rum punch almost is what it smells like. Um, I am going to put 
I have some um, pieces of pistachio here. You could put different nuts. I used to put like breadfruit flour on it sometimes. I just love putting something that's like in the nutty realm on there. Um, it just adds a really, I love the color contrast to it. And it's cool if you eat a little bit of it with the ice. So I put that on top. And I like just taking different colored flowers. So this is a yellow yarrow. Listen, when the yarrow plant does come in different shades of colors, which is really, really pretty, but this is what's kind of popping right now. This is from a farm called Windros up in uh, Paso Robles. And then this is kind of one of those essential drinks that's really perfect with a metal straw, right? So you've got, you know, you could have a spoon on it or not. Uh, you don't necessarily, you could just get a nice metal straw for drinking and put that in there. But let's give it a sip. So this is my version of a long honest tea. Um, I turned a lot of people with this. So uh, let's give it a sip, see if it still holds up. Mm. 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 Wow. I, I really wish I could serve this at a club. You know what I mean? I really wish I could serve this at a nightclub and put this on a menu because it has so much flavor. It's definitely strong, but it's fantastic. So have fun with this, you know, be creative. Um, again, I think the juice is the right way to go. If you don't have blood orange juice, substitute with another juice, depending on what season you're in as well. Cheers. Mm. Wow. I forgot how I forgot how great that is. I really did. I mean, I really want to put that back on a menu.